breezy, warm day, mainly dry in many locations, including the metro, but we have had a few showers, and we continue to see a few breaks in the cloudy skies out towards the west, but look a little farther out towards the horizon. More gray skies and rain that's going to be with us through especially the late evening and overnight tonight already starting to develop. But we're up to 77 degrees, a late day high temperature. South breeze steady at 14. It's been gusty at times, over 30 miles per hour today. We're still close to 80 in Frankfurt, 79 degrees. Along the West Virginia, Kentucky border temperatures were in the upper 80s, even close to 90 degrees. It was definitely a warm one, but now we're starting to cool to the north and west. Seymour Paoli Huntingburg in the lower 60s, where we're developing some rain showers through that portion of southern Indiana from Seymour Paoli down back over towards Evansville, across the Ohio River, Owensboro southward. Yeah, we're building in that rainfall, and that's going to be on the move to the east as we make our way through tonight. Mainly light to moderate showers through Jackson, Orange County, back into Du Bois County around Huntingburg, getting a little steadier there as we see a little uptick in some of the rain there on the radar. May even get a few claps of thunder before this is all said and done, especially as the front moves a little closer to us. We'll watch down into western Kentucky as well, places like uh, Breckenridge, Grayson County, seeing some showers there around Rough River and back off to the west. Again, that rain continues to build. And that's where we'll be watching, out to the south and west for more rain out of western Tennessee to lift up uh, into the WLKY region tonight. Again, it's going to be a soaking rain, even a few rumbles of thunder as we head into the evening. By 10 o'clock, we're 65, but a cold front comes through. We almost knocked 20 degrees off the temperatures by tomorrow morning with some chilly, breezy showers out there and some off and on showers through the morning. Midday temperatures only 49 degrees. We'll just slowly inch to the low 50s tomorrow. In terms of rainfall, though, as we head tonight and into tomorrow morning, it's definitely a soaker over an inch of rain in most locations where you see that stripe of yellow, especially just west of the metro. We could see a few locations pick up close to two inches of rainfall. Good news for us is that our severe weather threat is running low. It's going to be much higher in the deep south along the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. But we're in a marginal risk just mainly south of downtown Louisville. What that means is if we get any thunderstorms going, an isolated wind gust can't be ruled out that might be on the stronger side. But I think that would be very isolated. And overnight, we're just mainly concerned with some steady soaking rainfall. Future cast in motion, though, as we get in through tomorrow, takes any heavy rain and turns it into just some spotty showers. But boy, it's going to be a gusty northwest wind and with a little bit of wet weather. It's not going to be feeling much like the middle and later portions of April, that's for sure. And then as we get into Friday night, there's an uptick in the rainfall. But that's going to be raining through some colder air aloft, and that'll help to cool our atmosphere. And there's increasing signs that we'll have a window of opportunity late Friday night and into early Saturday morning for perhaps a wintry mix of rain to snow and maybe even a little bit in the way of some light accumulations possible before this turns back over to some rain showers as we keep it cold on your Saturday. But Friday night, again, rain mixing with, maybe even changing to a little bit of snow. Temperatures above freezing, so accumulation's tough to come by, but maybe on the rooftops or the grass, we could see a, a little bit of a dusting. We'll keep close tabs on that. Good news is, after a high of 49 Saturday by Easter Sunday, Jennifer, sunshine and 74, back to the 80s Monday and Tuesday with a couple of midweek showers. But boy, we will watch our weather go from the chance of snowflakes to 80s in just a couple days. So pull out the jacket again. I know. Boy, mine was getting farther back in the closet. I, I was hoping it was going to stay there. All right, Matt. <laughs> thank you.